Okay, tonight I'm making this video to uh, present a question to some people out there and uh, I was kind of just going to try to elicit a little bit of help on a decision I need to make. As uh, many of you know, I recently sold uh, or traded away my SIG P250 subcompact, which until recently was my nightstand gun. So now I have to choose another nightstand gun and I've got four guns that I'm considering for different reasons and I will go through which ones of them here are in the running and why each one is up for contention and why uh, the negatives of some of them that I'm thinking of. So uh, let's get started here. The first option is my Smith & Wesson 629. Uh, this is a Magnum, 44 Magnum. It is a six shot revolver. Very nice gun here. Uh, pardon me, having trouble getting it in frame. I'm not used to this camera angle yet. But uh, this gun is very powerful, of course. A 44 Magnum, six shots of 44 Magnum. Very easy to wield, very easy to use, very reliable. Uh, negatives of it is very powerful. That's also a negative. Uh, a little harder to control because it is so powerful. Also at night, the blinding flash and the loud boom from a 44 Magnum might disorient myself as much as uh, anyone else, even more so myself, because I might be closer to the blast. So that is a negative with it. And also, if you come out my bedroom door, at immediately at the end of the hall, the other end of the hall, is my son's bedroom doors. Uh, the door to both their rooms. Do I really want such a powerful gun when a bad guy might be between me and my children that are in their rooms in their beds? Option number two, along the same platform but a little less powerful gun, would be my uh, Smith & Wesson Model 640. Now with this, I could fire 38 Special in it to uh, avoid some of the overpenetration problems, uh, but then that uh, leaves me with a weaker round. But 38 Special plus P or 38 Special, I think, is more than going to be able to handle any bad guy that breaks into my house. I figure if someone breaks into my house, they're not looking for a fight; they're looking for a uh, free meal, so to speak. They're not looking for a gun battle. So just shooting at them, period, is probably going to be enough to discourage it for them to go away. So this is, would be option number two, the Smith & Wesson Model 640. Option number three, a Car K40 40 caliber. Uh, another powerful gun, uh, very nice gun. Uh, it's nice, easy to use, has a wonderful trigger, it's very accurate. Now this gun has night sights. The other two guns, the two revolvers, of course, do not. Uh, this has night sights, that's one advantage. But really in my house that's not much of an advantage because I never allow my house to be dark. Uh, one of the things I do for safety in my home is I keep it well lit, even at night. Uh, none of the common areas are dark at night in my house, they're all lit to some degree. So this is a car, uh, like I say, this would have about the one more round than either of the revolvers do because it does have a seven round capacity. Uh, so it's a good powerful round, the 40 caliber. Once again, I worry about over penetration with the kids in the other room. I would also like to think I never would shoot and miss anything that are between me and my children. Uh, maybe not even take a shot in that situation, but you never know what might happen in a bad situation. So I have to consider that. But there's option number three, car K40. Now my final option is the least powerful of the three. It is my SIG P232. This is a uh, 380 caliber handgun. It is a all stainless steel. It's a very nice, easy to use weapon. Very uh, easy to wield, very accurate. Does not have night sights like the car. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, otherwise, the thing that this, this gun has most going for it uh, is that it is easy to shoot, it's very easy to be accurate with, and it's a very accurate gun. And since it's only a 380, that would probably eliminate the uh, over-penetration issue with the bedroom walls. Because in ballistics testing I've done myself, I've noticed that uh, one or two layers of drywall tends to slow a 380 down to where it doesn't hardly even penetrate a watermelon. So would really take the zing out of it if it uh, if I missed someone. I'm not worried about over penetration in the means in the uh, effect of it going a bullet going through an assailant and then going through a wall. Just missing the assailant is my issue. So this is option number four, Sig P232 380. And once again, not a very powerful round. But like I say, if someone's breaking into my house, they're looking for an easy, in the middle of the night, they're looking for an easy target, an easy um, mark. They're not looking for a gun battle, they're not looking for a fight. So I have a feeling even a 380 is going to take the fight right out of them, make them run away even if I don't hit them. 
So those are the, my options and those are why I'm kind of considering those four. And those are some of the plus and minuses of them. I would love to hear what everyone else out there thinks, uh, which one would be best for my nightstand gun.